sweet friends, it's Tanya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love it if you consider subscribing. And as always, my second channel, Crafty Cards and Journals, will be linked in the description box below. What I have for you today, we are going to do a cozy Christmas decorate with me in my living room this time. I'm going to be incorporating some traditional colors, not a lot, just enough that I think they'll pop with some neutral Christmas colors. I hope you really enjoy this Christmas decorate with me for 2023. So let's get started. Okay, on my end table here to the right side of the couch, I'm going in with this little riser from Hobby Lobby. Then I'm going in with a flameless flickering candle. I bought a set of these. I think these are the heat resistant ones off of Amazon. I'll link everything that I can find in the description box below. Next, I'm going to put this gorgeous gold mercury glass tree in, over top of this candle. And set it like that. I'm loving the look that is giving. Next, I'm going to go in with these little candle holders. This is the smallest of a set that I picked up at Kirkland's with another LED flameless candle from Amazon. With all this light here, it's hard to see, but it's on. Okay, next I'm going in with this Countdown to Christmas from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was so unusual because this flips and it says Santa, Jesus' birthday, shopping days, and Christmas. I've got that right there. I think from now it's around 40 days till Christmas. Okay, I'm next I'm going in with this really pretty cold, snowy farmhouse barn picture that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And I usually put it in my entryway, but this time I wanted to put it here. And I think that looks so pretty. Okay, so that's how this side is looking. I have a tree right here in my dining room. It's not decorated yet, but the other one is. Then behind my couch, I just put in that little, it almost looks like a toolbox holder. I just put different colors, bulbs that I had, gold, green, the red to give those neutral colors, um, to kind of give them some life. And I think, like I've said before, if you use the neutral colors, and then you go in with the traditional ones. The traditional ones really pop. Okay, then on this side, I'm gonna do basically the same thing. I just have a different riser from Hobby Lobby and a flameless flickering candle. I just want our home this year to look very cozy, comfortable for Christmas. Then I'm gonna put this over top of this. And it just will give a beautiful glow to my Christmas decor for 2023. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the two matching candle holders from the other one and set them right here with those same flickering candles. And then I have to go in with Silent Night from Hobby Lobby. I think that looks so precious. Then over top of my end table, I hung this wreath that I picked up at Decorators Warehouse in Texas. I love it. It was a, just a plain wreath and it has the pine cones and it's a realistic look. And then I just made a simple little bow from Hobby Lobby Ribbon and then put those bells on it that came from Hobby Lobby as well. And I think that just gives a really cute look. Now we need to put some pillows on my couch. Okay, I had to go get my ring light because I thought it was just really dark. It's very overcast and rainy here today. So I'm going in with these. I'm reusing my pillow covers from Amazon. You get a set of four, I'll link them. I really like them. I'm just gonna go in and put these here. 
And with these pillow covers, it really brings out the bright, vibrant reds. And I think it helps tie the room together and not make my neutral decor look um, kind of subdued too much. I'm hoping that'll give you a better look at it closer up. Okay, right here, and I'll show it to you a little better later, I have a, just a small little end table that I picked up. I think it was either Wayfair or Amazon. I'm not sure. If I can find it, I'll link it. But right here, I'm going in with this gorgeous Christmas sign. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And I think it's gorgeous. Hobby Lobby. And that is truly the meaning of Christmas for me and my family. And then behind the love seat, I hang this every year. I picked it up, I think it was two years ago from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love it. It looks so cold and wonderful. Next, I'm going to go in with this. It's hard to see it, but my brother and sister-in-law bought it for us last Christmas, and I love it. I'm gonna put that right here. I just love this little snow globe. It ties in perfectly with my sort of, I guess you would call this an organic, neutral Christmas with pops of traditional colors, but I think that is beautiful. And here is my table I was telling you about. I really like it. And then here is that Dickens book I got in Texas, and it's just sitting on one of my paralegal books when I had when I was in school. And that lamp came from I think it was Lowe's, and I really do love it. Okay, then over here, I'm just gonna put my remaining little pillow covers off of Amazon. I love that little dog and the barn, and I'm just gonna set them right in here like that. Now we're gonna to go to my shelves and then the entry then right here i'm going in with this tree i've had for a long time i'm going to try to hide its cord underneath its base but i love those red berries it just adds so much to this little area okay and then here is my christmas tree that i decorated on camera yesterday i'll link the video in the description box really do love how it turned out it is really i think it goes right along with my decor this year in the living room okay then if you pan over here i think this little christmas santa screensaver that i found on youtube is perfect you can find a lot of them i'll link it in the description box below it doesn't have any music then this is what I decided to do with my shelves this year. Now the reason I didn't decorate it with you is because part of it, well almost all of it, was seen in the other video. So I thought I would just climb up there one more time and turn the houses on. <laughs> but right here is that little, like a ball of twine that I picked up at Home Goods, And then I'm just reusing all of this that I've had in the past. The containers are from Hobby Lobby, that tree farm. I'm not sure, I think it was from Walmart a couple years ago. And then those precious houses and trees are from Hobby Lobby. I love it. Okay, now I'm going in with this garland. I've had a long time to incorporate some of that delicious red. I just think this incorporates this beautiful red so that the traditional colors don't look too dull. Okay, then I just took my little dough bowl and I put some really pretty pine cones in it. And one of these houses, they it lights up as well. I need to turn it on in this, um, 
garland of bead garland and I'm gonna set it right here. Now this little church lights up, but it needs a special battery and I don't have it and I, I'm gonna have to go to battery and bulbs and try to find it. But I just think that looks sweet, okay? Okay, next I'm going in with this beautiful reindeer. I'm gonna set it kind of at an angle I picked that up several years ago at Old Time Pottery and I love it. You can see it lights up around the neck and it is gorgeous. Then I'm going to put in this other one, which is gorgeous and kind of tilt him just a little bit like he's looking back at her just ever so slightly to make sure she's coming along. All right, then down here, I'm gonna set this really pretty wicker basket to add texture, a little bit of greenery and ornaments once again to bring out the reds and the gold and help tie everything in. Okay, next I'm going in with these. I found these at Ross. This small one was $6 and something, the larger, or $8. The larger one was 12 and I love them. As you can see, they light up. I'm gonna try to conceal. The light cord and I'm gonna set that there to add some light down in there. And then here's the larger one. Gonna set it right here as well. Now he's a little harder to hide because the loops of the bow are a little bit bigger, so I may try to stick it. I may get some garland. I don't have any right now. Because plugins and cords are the vein of my existence, <laughs> I'm going in with this really small cutting board and try to hide that. And I think it works. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Christmas decorate with me for 2023. I just wanted to create a cozy living environment for my family, and I think I've achieved it. Um, I Like I keep saying, those traditional colors are beautiful, but when you put them in with the more neutral colors, those traditional colors really pop. So I hope you got some Christmas decorating ideas, some decor ideas for your Christmas this year. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell, set it to all, and hopefully YouTube will let you know that I've uploaded a video or a community post. Now, since I am so behind on my decorating for Christmas, so I will see you on Wednesday and we'll be doing more Christmas decorating for 2023 to give you some wonderful decorating inspiration. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. The baby said hi. She said hello. She said I love you. She said I'm just loving all these festivities going around the house. Yes, I am. Say mama shows me the trees and say I just look at them. Don't you baby? So, until next time, bye guys. Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the prayer.